let's take this simple program in this program there are no if statements for statements while and the control flow is very simple it is starting at like you know first line and till the end it is going in one go so there are no loopbacks or there are no jumps anything okay it is a simple example i have taken <clears throat> now let's try to analyze let's try to find out at every statement what are the variables that are alive okay so before uh, continuing further i'll just try to put the line numbers to it line number 1 2 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now, <clears throat> what are all the variables that are present in this program? So you have to take all the variables and analyze. Okay. So in in exam, they might ask you about only one variable, or they might ask you about only one line. But we will do it for all the lines for all the variables so that it will be easy for you in the exam. Okay. So. i am very sure that they are going to ask uh, some question based on this particular ki these kind of examples okay so try to understand it now what are all the variables present in this uh, program if you see it x y z okay u v w so totally we have six variables okay the total number of lines is 8 and the number of variables are 6 right now let me just put it in a tabular form you need not do it in the exam i'm just showing it for the exam you know exam example sake so don't do this entire thing in the exam just do only the part that is asked in the question okay so first thing is what are the variables that we have so we have x y z right and then we have u v w right i'll just form a table and what are all the lines that we have we have line number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 got it so let me just draw the table for that you need not do this in the exam in the exam you just answer what is asked okay don't analyze the entire program that is not required just for the sake of example i am doing this okay now let's see this slot so what is this is the variable x live at line number 1 statement number 1 okay now if you see this statement number 1 is here is there any can is it is x used in the statement no but can we reach a statement where x is used without touching the definition if you start from here you will go like this you clearly see that x is defined at line number 3 okay so x is used here but from statement number 1 till we reach statement number 4 we have a definition for x that is why x is not live x is dead got it and okay so x is dead that line number 1 now let's look at this what about y now if you observe it at statement number 1 y is not used but can we reach a point where y is used if you try to go here y is used but the problem is in order to reach line number 5 where y is used we are going to uh, touch definition of line you know y at line number 4 therefore y is dead got it and next one is z so from here if you start z is not used can we reach a line where z is used no because immediately in line to z is defined that is why z is dead what about u so from here can you reach a point where u is used without touching the definition of u if you see it u is used here but if i had to reach this point on the way u is u is defined therefore u is dead 
what about v so as a rule of thumb you always remember this wherever if v is defined in that particular statement it is dead if a variable is defined in a particular statement it is dead only one exception is there if you have a statement like this x equal to x plus 3 is there in this case x is definitely used before it is defined why because you are going to use the value of x first then you are going to look at the definition that is why in this case x is live but if you have something like this x equal to y plus z if this is the statement then x is dead okay so if in that particular statement if it is defined then you need not do any further analysis you can clearly say that uh, v is dead here so v is dead here because it is defined right and even though v is used here v is defined here so we are not going to reach this particular point without going through statement number one and in statement number one it is clearly killed okay therefore v is dead what about w so from here can you reach a point where w is used here w is used but to reach this point we have to go through the definition of definition here right therefore since w is defined in statement number five we can say that it is dead okay because we are not reaching the uses of w so it is dead now let's go to line number two here and let's see if x is live or not now x is not used but can we reach a point where x is used without hitting a definition now if you see x is used here but if i have to reach here x is already defined here got it so that is the reason x is again dead okay now here next y so at statement number two if you see before i reach the uses of y i am hitting the definition of y therefore y is dead and z so if you see this clearly there is definition of z but there is no use of z therefore z is dead what about you so i am at statement number two if you see will i be able to reach the uses of u u is here without hitting the definition no therefore u is dead what about v v is clearly used in this statement therefore it is live got it so v is live what about w so if you have to from statement number two if you have to reach the uses of w on the way you are having a definition for w and also in statement number two w is not used therefore w is dead got it now at this point you can pause the video complete the table okay i'll do i'll complete the table but you pause the video complete the table and you just check cross verify what you have got okay next one is statement number three in statement number three clearly x is defined and x is not used right therefore x is dead statement number three y see immediately after statement number three y is defined and y is used in statement number five and it is not used in the statement number three therefore y is dead what about z so in statement number three z is used therefore z is live and u right in statement number three if you see u is used here but defined here therefore we are not going to reach it so it is dead and in statement number three again v is used therefore v is live got it and now next one is w right so statement number three and w if you see it w is used here but on the way it is defined therefore it is dead next statement number four in statement number four x is used therefore it is live in statement number five sorry in statement number four y is defined therefore it is dead it is not used right it is not used it is just defined therefore it is dead 
and in statement number four if you see z z is not used but in statement number five z is used there is a path from four to five because it is a straight line right so the control flow graph is simply a straight line from one to eight therefore we are able to reach the usage of z and on the way z is not defined therefore z is live and statement number four we are talking about u right so in statement number four if you observe it here we are and u is used in statement number seven but it is defined in you know statement number six therefore it is dead there should not be any definitions on the way otherwise the variable is dead okay and statement number four and v so if you see this v is used here okay this is also uses written statement if you have something that is also uses v is used here but v is defined here that is why it is dead and statement number four w so in statement number four w is not used but in statement number five it is defined so even though in statement number seven it is used since it is defined in statement number five it is dead and the next one is statement number five in statement number five x is used y is used z is used therefore all these three are live and in statement number five u so u is defined in statement number six before its use is in statement number seven therefore it is dead and in statement number five v so v is used in statement number eight but it is defined in statement number seven therefore it is dead and w is defined in statement number five it is not used in the statement therefore it is dead and the next one is statement number six so in statement number six if you see it x is not used in statement number six right and after statement number six only seven and eight are executed and in none of them x is used so since there is no use of x from statement number six anywhere it is dead there is no point in giving it a register okay and y so in statement number six y is not used but in statement number seven y is used and there is no definition of y therefore we can say that y is live and statement number six z is present it is used therefore it is live and in statement number six u is defined therefore it is dead it is not used only defined right that is why it is dead and in statement number six v so v is not used here but it is defined immediately after it therefore it is dead so before the use of u v it is defined that is why it is dead and statement number six w right so if you see six w is not used in statement number six but it is used in statement number seven and in between six and seven there is no definition for w therefore w is live and coming to statement number seven so w and y u w and y are used right therefore u w w and y these three are live directly and v is defined without you know being used therefore it is dead so v is dead and coming to x so after statement number x there is no usage of x so it is dead and coming to statement number uh, yeah about z so after statement number seven z is not used anywhere okay therefore it is dead now written statement so only written statement is only uses okay only v and u are used in statement number eight therefore v and u are live and all the other variables are dead because that is the end of the program right so we need not worry about it got it so this is the 
analysis that we do uh, that we did and uh, this is about the liveness of the variables now what kind of questions can they frame in gate is uh, for one thing they are not going to ask you all these questions okay so they might ask what is the life of x if you see x x is live in 4 and 5 therefore life of x is 4 comma 5 now what is the life of y so if you see y y is life of y is 5 6 7 right what is the life of z z is life is 3 4 5 yeah 6 and what about uh, life of u these two 7 and 8 what about life of v why life of v is 2 3 and then 6 so it is interesting the life of a variable need not be uh, in a contiguous manner it can be alive for few statements at one place and few statements at other place so it need not be contiguous life need not be contiguous got it now what about life of w these two six and seven this kind of question can be asked okay and along with this they might also ask the question like this what are the variables that are live at statement number one so nothing what are the variables that are live at statement number three so we have z and v they can also ask a question like what are the variables that are live at both three and four like that then in that case you are going to get only z z is the only variable which is live at both three and four so such kind of questions can be possible again again let me tell you one thing here whatever analysis we did we have taken every line as a basic block and we analyzed and that is why we are able to find out the life or the liveness of a variable at a particular statement okay but if the same analysis is done taking the basic blocks we will not be able to find out the uh, vari variables which are live inside a basic block we can only find out coming into the basic block what are the variables that are live going out of the basic block what are the variables that are live but we will not be able to find out what are the variables that are live inside a basic block are you getting this so that is a different analysis so mostly these these kind of questions will be asked okay we'll see one more example where uh, we'll have a go-to statement also okay next to